Finally, OnePlus has released Oxygen OS 15 update for the OnePlus Nord 4 as release candidate and I have installed it on my Nord 4. Release candidate build is the final beta and usually this build is rolled out to users as stable build. So let's check out the new update and see what's new. The UI and UX both have been polished and improved. The iconography has been tweaked and feels consistent throughout the system. Let's check out about device section. So this screen has also been tweaked. Now you can see your device name on the top card with Oxygen OS version. The storage section has also been revamped. The storage bar has a lot of resemblance to iOS now. Speaking of storage, the system data takes about 22 gigs, 8 GBs of system and unspecified other takes some 14 gigabytes. The update weighed around 3 0.46 gigabytes when I was on the newest stable version of Oxygen OS 14.1. Oxygen OS 15 introduces a prominent new battery feature called Charging Limit which automatically stops charging at 80% to prevent overcharging and extend battery life. Another major change can be seen in the lock screen section. If you go to wallpaper and style, you'll see a brand new section called Flux Themes. There are some presets that you can use. One set comes with some inspiring quotes like Never Settle, Be the Legend, Be Bold, Be Brave and touch the sky etc you can customize the clock as well you can change the clock font there are five different font options you can adjust the font width means you can make it bold or thin you can change the clock style which is basically alignment you can add weather or step counter in your clock as well If you go to style, you can edit your wallpaper. You can blur your wallpaper or add some glass effect to it. There are six different glass patterns to choose from. I personally like the Lumina and Ripple pattern. I'm glad that all major OEMs are taking inspirations from each other. Once you're done editing, just tap apply and that's it. rest of the section is pretty same just some icons have changed and we have a new fingerprint animation now we can find it in fingerprint animation section this new animation is called halo and it's this simple white animation that looks pretty cool here it is in action also there's a new charging animation as well sorry i can't show you that bit in action but here's how it looks like now let's talk about animations and smoothness. So as OnePlus had claimed, this update is amazingly smooth and all the animations feel just so good. Apart from the app open close animation, there are folder opening animation that's so smooth and oddly satisfying. The control center pull down animation is also smooth. Speaking of control center or QS panel, now you can split them. Following MIUI, finally Oxygen OS lets you use control center and notification panel separately and you can directly switch between them by swiping left and right. The home screen has gotten some makeover as well. If you go to icons, you'll notice the two new icon packs called Radiance and Shadow. The Radiance ones are bright colored icons with gradient background and the Shadow ones have a dark background. I don't like both of them. Classic is classic for a reason. There's one more new feature in home screen settings. If you go to home screen lock screen settings, then go to advanced visual effects, you'll see a new option called advanced visual effect, which enables a blur effect in the app folders on your home screen, like on iOS. But this feature comes with a catch. It takes up more system resource, resulting in slightly increased battery consumption. But when enabled, it looks really nice. Another element that has gotten a bit of makeover is the volume slider. When you press volume button, it looks normal, but when you increase or decrease the volume, the bar gets slim, much like how it does on iOS. Sorry, but a lot of things seem to have been inspired by iOS, but that's good. Another big addition and attention-worthy feature of this update is Live Alerts, the OnePlus's own version of Dynamic Island. However, it's not as versatile as iOS's Dynamic Island, but it works the same way. You can choose whether to open the app when you tap the Live Alert pill or expand it into a card to view more info. Currently, it supports a couple third-party apps, namely Swiggy and Zomato. Other services that support it are Music Playback, Game Timer and Update services, Personal Hotspot and Screen Recording. There's a new live photo option in the camera which lets you shoot live photos of as long as 3 seconds. To take a live photo, you just have to tap this live photo icon on top and then take a photo and to see it in your gallery, tap the live photo icon and it'll start moving. You can share it with the iPhone with the help of this feature which requires Opless Connect app installed on your iPhone. One other privacy related feature has been added to the file manager. Now if you go to private safe, 
Your private files will be categorized into different groups such as images and video, audio, documents, etc. So that was the first impression of Oxygen OS 15 on OnePlus Nord 4. If you haven't got this update, you can tap this three dots icon in software update page and then tap beta program and you will see the release candidate there. Soon it's going to be rolled out to all users as a stable build. If you like this video, make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Peace.